Clara and I come from Spain. I'm a marine biologist and I've been employed by the University of Southern Denmark the past two years. And uh, my job is basically going all around Denmark and uh, try to find purposes and record them with the drone. <laughs> we do this because we almost don't know anything about how opopuses uh, they're very difficult to see because they're very small and usually they're also like in quite murky waters um, so we thought that this could be a way to study the behavior if we were able to get a, an aerial view of what they're doing we don't know if they're social animals if they actually if they're solitary and how do they take care of their youngs um, we basically have very little information. So this way we can um, try to get to see uh, how they live. So this is part of a, of a project that is called uh, Secret Lives of uh, Bats and Porpoises. Mm -hmm. How is animal behavior studied? Well, it's usually used by us observing. Um, so that's why we have more information in behavior in uh, terrestrial animals. Um, in aquatic animals, um, for example, dolphins, they're easier because they sometimes, uh, or killer whales, when they have more stable groups, and then when they also are bigger, for example, you can take a photo of the dorsal fin, the one on the back, and also the caudal fin, the tail, basically, and then they have patterns that are different from one animal to another. So then you can see who is with who, and uh, if they're switching groups, and if they're having a baby, and who is related to who, basically, and follow their story. In the case of the porpoises, they all look basically the same, so you cannot really follow them this way. So that's why we almost have nothing about the behavior. It's only a few studies um, yeah, that were made by observing from a boat. Field work. So, well, I usually wake up very early in the morning uh, on the good days because uh, in Denmark there is not many good days where there's no wind, sunny, no waves. And um, so I try to get the whole day from sunrise to sunset. And then, um, so we came here, but today there is no really purposes here. So then we're gonna go on a boat to go to another location that is called uh, Mole. It's a little island that way. And uh, it, there's often purposes there. Um, but basically we'll just spend the day trying to find them all around food. And I also, when I have a chance, I try to put a hydrophone so I get the sound and the behavior. So we can also try to study the, the collocation development of the babies, the calves, uh, or the hard poultices. I try to follow them, uh, I, of course I try to follow the same group as long as I can, but that's not always possible. So sometimes I've been able to get an hour on the same group of individuals, but uh, still, um, if I cannot follow the same group, I can still get a lot of information. Uh, like breathing rates, like how often do they breathe, uh, how do they hunt for fish, um, also like if they are having like um, affiliative behaviors, like behaviors that can indicate that they are social because they may be like rubbing each other or what is also called grooming when they like rub each other's back, um, if they have aggressive interactions or you can quantify all that even if it's not the same group. First results. Purposes we don't really know yet. Uh, we need to still analyze the data. Uh, but it seems like they might not be as solitary as we previously thought. Breeding season. They, they're now uh, starting to have their first calves in uh, like late June and July. And they're also breeding, actually. So, like, they kind of give birth and mate, and, or, or if they have a, a baby every second year, they can have it every year, every second year, then uh, basically now they will kind of like, they will have a, a one-year-old calf that they had last year, and then they could be mating now. But they, they usually have like also a breeding season when they mate around July, or June, July. Comparison to captured porpoises. 
I've seen the same kind of behaviors in them, like um, the way they, for example, the male uh, mate with them. We thought that it was weird, but actually we found out that it's the same way it happens in the wild. Because um, usually it happens really fast, uh, so it's not very. It doesn't look very consensual. <laughs> like the male uh, kind of swims really fast towards the female and kind of bumps her. <laughs> And um, also like when they groom each other, like when they're socializing and grabbing, like grabbing each other's back, it's also the same way they do it, the, the ones at Fiora Belt. So it seems the, the behavior is very similar. The drone. So here is our drone and um, this is how it looks. And the battery is full. This is the battery here. And then uh, we just need to attach the propellers to it. Which is... It's a lithium battery. And then uh, it can fly for around 20, 20 minutes. Depends on if it's windy, then it will last less. But yeah, around 20 minutes. This to uh, have... This is a remote control to basically like uh, uh, drive the drone. Um, I have the charger in the lab and because I have a bag full of batteries here <laughs> so I can uh, use the drone for around eight hours um, and then this is the iPad it's just a normal iPad uh, and this is how what I can how I can see what the drone is also seeing so I use this device because with the Sun you cannot really see the screen because of the brightness but with this uh, thing then you can actually see it very well I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it on. Um, I'm just gonna move it a bit there, so like we're safe. Mm -hmm. The screen you can see basically the distance, the height, how much battery you have left. So you have like total control of what the drone is doing. Mm -hmm. They also have a GPS signal, so if I don't move the drone, the drone will keep the same position all the time. So are we ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's quite easy. It's not in, in general flying the drone is not difficult. It's, what is difficult is maybe to find the purposes and to follow them. <laughs> <laughs> 